Okay guys, it's 119 today in Phoenix and that's pretty much the peak about the hottest we get. So today I'm gonna share with you things that you can do to take care of your animals in extreme heat. Now, even if you only are in like the low 100s, you still need to care for your animals in a little bit different way and I'm gonna show you that today, okay? So let's talk about goats. First thing to know about goats is they're actually very well acclimated to heat. It doesn't really seem to bother them too much. We've got Penny over there and Tilly that are grazing. We've also got the sheep over there grazing. They're acting exactly the same. They're not laying in the shade. They're grazing and foraging and doing their own, just acting very, very normal. With sheep and goats, they're very tolerant of the heat. And the best thing to know with them is it's, it's kind of an instinct to want to like shave them down. And I actually used to do it for a few years until I learned that shaving them down, it actually sunburns them. And so it's better to kind of just let things be natural the way it's supposed to be. And so just leave it as is. Now sheep, you should always do like a spring shearing with sheep, but usually having an inch of wool is normal. That's how their bodies actually keep themselves cool. So if you see our sheep over there, our sheep are Katahdin, so they're hair sheep and they don't really you know, they don't really have this thick wool, although right now they have a good layer of hair. And we wouldn't want to shear them right now because this is the time for them. Their bodies can kind of do it themselves. The best thing that you can do with your goats is provide lots of shade and lots of cool water. Now some people will freeze a block of water and put it in their water troughs every morning. And I think that's a really great idea because then it can kind of slowly melt and cool that water. But the best thing I think that you can do is provide some kind of shade that has a green cover on the bottom. So a lot of people will have shady areas but there's dirt underneath them and that just is not cool it just doesn't cool down like it should so what you really want to do is have an area that has some greenery that they can lay down in in the shade it's going to be like 20 degrees cooler when you have a green ground cover so one last thing i forgot to mention with goats or with sheep is you don't want to feed them grain during the hot days because grain is like a hot food it kind of keeps their body temperature hotter because their body has a harder time digesting it so if you can go grass-fed only during those hot days it's gonna be better for them. So when it comes to chickens, chickens actually have a little bit harder time dealing with the heat. And I've seen people do a few different things. The biggest thing by far is if you have them in a hot coop with dirt on the floor, they're gonna have a lot harder time and they're more likely to die. What we do is we always free range, first of all, but if you can't take your animals out and let them out in the shade, where the nice cool green grass is, then the next step would be to give them some frozen treats. So I've seen people give like frozen peas or frozen fruit. I'm just cleaning out my freezer this week, so I've got some frozen cranberries that I'm gonna throw out to them. And then the next thing you can do, whether they're in a coop or not, is you can take bricks, you can put them in cool water, and then the chickens they won't really play in the water, but they'll go stand on the bricks and the bricks will transfer the cool water. So it should work out just great. Now when it comes to ducks, ducks always do fine because they love to play in water. So you'll see our ducks often, they kind of make a mess of the water, but they're also usually swimming and splashing in it. We refill this up every morning and wash it out and look at it, it already gets messy. They love to swim in it and they love to poop in it. So ducks usually can, can keep themselves cool just from natural instincts. If you have any frozen fruit, you can just throw it in the water and the chickens will come and peck at it and hang out in the water and, and cool themselves down. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. The last tip is just to keep plenty of cool water out and keep it in the shade so that it doesn't get baked. So we always try to keep multiple waters all over the yard in the shade to help keep them cool down. Hopefully this helps you on your little farms and you can keep your animals cool in this horrible extreme heat.